Yeah, we obviously played Rotherham uh, on Sunday. Um, obviously, we've had a pretty depleted squad. Uh, I think not many people realise we had 22 fit players. So uh, obviously, it's been it's been quite publicised the fact that we just had to mix in. You know, we had five backs on the bench instead of two normally. Um, but I think it's just a credit to the to the culture Gavin Paves has built. Um, we all play for each other, and we, we just muck in and do our job. And thankfully, everyone on the weekend stood up and we got the result we wanted. Yeah, I think the boys went really well. Obviously, the conditions didn't really suit the way we wanted to play, but I think we obviously all dug in uh, massively, like forwards oriented game. But the boys stuck up, stuck at it, and just got the result we needed, really. And five points was a real good result for us. Yeah, I think we've got a great team spirit here down at the club. It obviously starts with the coaches, as uh, Tom said. Um, and it, obviously, boys uh, mucking in with each unit session uh, helps out uh, come Sunday or Saturday when we go away. So I think. It really does help us. What about you, Tom? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, Max said about us all, all getting into everything. Um, there's not many clubs I've been to that you know, have centres in the back row all the time. And you know, I think even once our physio's been on the flank, with have at prop and second row. So, yeah, definitely. Um, you know, being local, someone like Max has grown up in Penzance. You know, it probably means a little bit more playing for Penzance uh, than it might some people. So, yeah, it gives an extra drive and, and these guys push it when they're on the field. So, it's good. Um, yeah, obviously um, we're both. Well, we're both due for a 50 game, um, which is a big thing personally. But I think we're both feel comfortable saying that it's nice to look back on. But you know, for the team, it don't really matter. We just got to perform first um, and get the win. Hopefully against a tough side. Um, you know, probably maybe Max had a few more um, if he wasn't you know on the cusp of the Premiership team a lot. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you know he's pretty thankful to get there as well. Yeah, I think obviously us. Both of us being local lads, obviously it does have a little nice touch on it. Obviously with me, I grew, I grew up watching the Pirates and Ball Boy and, and actually ran out as mascot with Gav, who he probably won't like me saying that, but um, I think it does have a little extra edge for me and Tom, so it'd be nice to reach there on the weekend, hopefully. Yeah, so we've got uh, Jersey coming to us on Sunday this weekend, which will be a real tough match. Obviously they're coming off the back of a win as well against Yorkshire, who are a real tough side, as we found out two weeks ago, but I think, you know, spirits are high in the uh, camp at the moment. I think we're on seven on the bounce at the moment, so we're hoping to make it eight of the, uh, this weekend coming. Uh, yes, we obviously got Jersey on Sunday um, in a big, big lean game. It's, uh, it's a pretty big game for us. Uh, we're pretty much neck and neck in the table. And, you know, they're a big physical team, and, and I think their plan will be to come and mix it up with us. So we've got to be confrontational and, and really go at them. Uh, and then, you know, five days later, we'll play them again. Um, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think that's concentrate on the league game first. Hopefully that goes well and then we'll, we'll switch our focus next week. But first thing first, we've got to win in front of a home crowd on Sunday and then and then whatever happens after that happens. But Sunday's a big focus at the minute. Obviously, we will be focusing on the uh, Sunday game first. We've got to look after that one and then uh, we'll take them on Friday away. But obviously, being at home, we hope to get a big crowd in. It does make a difference to the boys when we're out on the field. I think it might not seem like much to the guys in the stand, but it does, you know, the cheer does pick you up and obviously gets you an extra yard when you're carrying and stuff like that, so it does mean a lot to the boys. Two, three,